Okay, first we want to make the wisteria stem by using a crochet thread in purple or violet color. And um, for this one, I just made a simple knot to create the um, tip of the uh, wisteria. And then I made around 5 to 7 knots which are tied as close to each other. And this is how it looks like. Just cut the excess and also cut your desired length for your um, stem. Okay, now let's make the flower. And for the flower, I am using the smallest size of this flower puncher. And you can buy this in your craft store. And also for the flower, I am using the purple, purple or lilac um, crepe paper. I have tried using different kinds of paper, but the crepe paper is um, more um, fluffy when you put them together than other um, papers. But maybe you can find something else that gives a nicer look. So you just want to punch like millions of tiny little flowers for to have enough uh, wisteria um, flowers once you have got enough flowers for your stem you can now start gluing them together and for this one I am um, also using a uh, this special glue dispenser and it has this middle or needle tip and I find it easier than using a cocktail stick I am also using a tweezer to pick them up and also to press them um, to press them um, on the uh, sponge And then just apply glue on the stem. So remember it's on the stem and not on the knots that you made. Use the tweezer to press the flower and then just bring them to the um, prepared stem. And for this one, I am using five flowers on each side. So basically I glued three sides together. Um, enough to cover the stem and this is how it looks like so as you can see it is um, fluffy to look at and it's really nice I guess <laughs> So this is how they look like in group. Um, I made more of this, but it's not yet finished. <laughs> For the main branch, I just wrapped a brown crepe paper on a uh, metal wire. And this one, with the metal wire, you can easily intertwine the branches or the vine. So I made four in total so that I can intertwine or pair them with each other. So here I just um, intertwined the two um, wires together and um, I did this um, until the very end. And then after that I painted the vine with a greenish grayish acrylic paint and I just mixed it to make it look realistic and not so much brown like the original crepe paper
and then lastly um, I made the leaves and this is how the closest um, that I can make so I basically just made it on a software uh, in my computer and then cut it out and um, for this I just painted it with two different um, shades of green one is darker and one is lighter and um, that's just how I want it to be so that it will have a nice effect when I put them or glue them together. And now the fun part begins. This is where I glued all the flowers and leaves together. As you can see, I have already put the main vine on a pot and it's already glued. So I am going to glue the flowers first before the leaves because it will hide the stem and it's much easier also. So just apply glue on top of your um, vine and then smear the glue using a cocktail stick and make sure you have a liberal amount of glue on the branch and then just simply hang the flowers on your uh, on your vine and just keep doing this until um, the upper vine is full or covered with the flower And once you have hang all your wisteria flowers, you can cut the excess thread and then start um, gluing the leaves on top of the um, on top of the stem. Or basically, you want to hide the stem. And this is the final project. Um, this is how it looks like and I am really happy and satisfied with the outcome and it was easy um, but it's very time consuming and needs a lot of patience but it wasn't that hard. So anyone can make this and I hope you enjoyed doing it. And thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel and follow the Secret Garden project. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.